Ask for money and get advice. Ask for advice, get money twice. He's a best selling author and the world's number one trainer for entrepreneurship and network marketing. It's time to go pro with Eric Worre. Welcome to Go Pro with Eric Worre. My name is Eric Worre, and I'm glad that you took the time to listen in today because I have a very special interview to share with you, a power couple. These two people individually built huge businesses and then found love. They connected to each other. They found love inside the network marketing profession, and now they are one of the indisputable power couples in the network marketing profession. They earn an enormous amount of money between the two of them, and they've learned not only how to build a big business, but how to build a life, how to build a relationship. And they're going to share some of those ideas with you. Their names are Danian Fire and Stefania Legato Fire, and they're going to bring the fire. So with no further ado, let's jump into our conversation with Danian and Stefania. Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and today I'm here with two of my dear friends, Danian Fire and Stefania Legato Fire. Yes, I get this right? Yes. Yes, and they didn't start off in network marketing as a couple. We're going to get to that, but uh, they became a couple through this profession. Yes. You both built separate businesses. Together now, you earn over a million dollars a year, a million U.S. dollars every single year. That's growing. It's getting better, right? Yes. Just warming up, right? Yes. <laughs> it feels like getting started, but it's incredible. Yeah, and and it's cool because they've, they've got different personalities a little bit, um, you know, similar drives. Danian's kind of a no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point, get-it-done guy. Yeah, Am I, Very is German. that fair? Very German. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Stefania is like, blah! Italian. She's just like Italian, bigger than life. Um, just <laughs> suck all the oxygen out of every room. <laughs> and uh, and uh, has a contagious enthusiasm uh, for life. So it's fun to be able to, to hang out and chat with both of you. Thank you, Eric. Um, Daniel, let's start with you. Tell me about your background as far as prior to network marketing, prior to what you're doing now. What, what were you involved with? You know, what was your life like? So prior to network marketing, I was in school. That's okay. really the only thing I remember prior to network marketing because I uh, found a network marketing when I was 17 years old, so I was still in school, and uh, obviously after finishing school, I went into you know, studies, I worked at a bank, and I pursued network marketing part-time. But although I did it part-time, it was always like my big dream and my big mission and my big you know, focus. So I remember being you know, studying and not even knowing what the, uh, what the guy in the front was talking about because I was building my business. You know? right. <laughs> That's really how it started. And there, there was a time where um, I struggled after four years, so I made a, I made a like one thousand dollars. I think it took me like two years to make a thousand dollars in the business a month, and it uh, wasn't really fast. And then uh, two thousand, three thousand. Then eventually, I quit my job and went full time. And when I went full time, it was really hard. It, it wasn't. I was expecting it. Oh wow, now I'm free. Now everything's just gonna explode. But it was actually really, really hard. I had no skills. I didn't know how to build this. When was this? Um, that was four years into it, so I was 21, maybe 22, 20, what, what 21 year? years old. Well, that is uh, 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, and, um, and at that point, I was trying to get advice. I didn't learn the lesson yet. You should only learn from people that have you, what you want. So I was listening to kind of like everybody around. I was listening to people that do not have success in the industry, and they started telling me, it's actually funny saying that today, this doesn't work in Germany, it only works in the USA. Mm. That's what they used to say. So now here in Vegas, so. <laughs> but anyway, so, and, and what's funny is that I started to believe it. I started to believe it and this virus went into my head and then at some point, I really lost my dream and I quit. Like I quit network marketing. And I went into real estate. So I started a real estate company uh, with a friend. We built it from scratch. Uh, amazing experience, uh, one that I, uh, you know, learned a lot, but um, I also realized how hard it is to run your own business, like you, to really be there. I think I did that four and a half years, seven days a week, not a day off, um, 12 hours a day, full on. And um, it's interesting. Um, 
after, after that experience, which ended not quite nice um, because there was a lot of um, you know, personal, personal matters with, um, you know, here's the thing what I always say about network marketing. In the beginning, I found it really, really hard to get the volume in, but at least the computer would always pay you. Mm -hmm. There's no discussions, there's no lawyers. If you have a great company, I mean, it just runs the check. You don't have to say, oh, you know, I, I felt like when I was writing uh, um, an invoice to the real estate company, and it was a lot, well, whatever was a lot back then, like maybe $7,000 at a max, then they would be like, why are you earning so much money? Are you an architect? Are you like, what did you study? What's your, what's your background? And I, and I feel like I had to explain on why I'm making more money than an average person at 23. And, and it felt like I had to do everything. I, I, I'm, I'm owned by the other people, although I wasn't employed by them. So it was, it was crazy. And then um, I also realized um, that um, being in business for yourself, but not in network marketing, everybody experienced this. You make money, you write the bill or the invoice or whatever the name is in English, and they don't pay. Like everybody had had the experience that you actually make the money, you do the work, you do everything right, but you, you're not getting paid. Mm -hmm. So it's not only making the money, but getting the money. So that's a whole different thing. And I just realized this is not what I want to do, you know, and, and I started to miss network marketing. I started to really, really miss it. And uh, back then, uh, when, I, when I ended this experience, just because of a personal decision, I was saying, okay, I don't want to work with people anymore that are uh, of low integrity, that don't keep their words, that don't keep their promises, that don't, you know, aren't, aren't honest people. So I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this and I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to go on holidays. And I went to Dubai, first time in my life. I always wanted to go there. I remember landing at the airport and I was like, wow. This feels like home right here. I have no idea why I've never been to a country like that before, but I, I just felt, I wasn't even in the city yet. I was like, this is amazing. I want to be here. I want to be here. <laughs> it took a couple of years to actually get there. Today we live there. But that's when I, that's when I started to get back into network marketing. And then um, before I had no idea about the different companies and the different pay plans and the different things. I, I thought there was only the one company that I was with. And I started to look around and, and kind of took me like, um, about three years to find the right, you know, circumstances, the right, the right company or the right, uh, you know, upline training, the, and, and especially because of the uh, people behind it. Found, it, found, it took three years to find the right people. And then about six years ago today, it was 21st of September 2010, I took the decision to go pro. Like, would you, right. and that's why I, like, you speak out of my heart when you say go pro, take a decision to be a network marketing professional. So that, that happened for me that day, and since then, well, it's, let's not get into that amazing. yet. I just want to—I yeah. want to get the a, journey up until that. That was a background up until the decision on that day. Until six the years decision ago. six years ago. Yeah. Stefania, how about you? Well, me, completely different. Um, I was very skeptical. I actually, thought that networkers were losers. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Because especially in Italy, you have all these people that want to be, and they only talk about money, and they dress funny. And uh, yeah, that was my, my opinion. And only really low class income at the time when I heard about network marketing were doing it. And they were always talking about what they were gonna make one day and I never saw anybody become successful. And I was a little bit of a snob, but now, now I can admit it. You know, I, I, looked at, uh, I looked at these meetings and I thought, whatever. It's, you know, only the people make, on top of the tree make the big money. Mm -hmm. I, I actually thought it was really a pyramid scheme. So totally different. Daniel was very positive about network marketing. I was like, I will never do it. But I, like, I love the products because the products are really good. And so I began to use some of the products. And as you can tell, I talk a lot. And if I love something, I want to share it with everybody. So I started sharing it with uh, my girlfriends, even though I wasn't selling them. And then the person that was selling it to me told me, hey, why don't you open your own account? At least you can start to make some money. And of course, she saw potential in me. And I told her, no, 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 no. I will never do those things. But if you want, I can help you. So on her account, I began to send her clients, and then those clients turned in wanting to do the business. And we got quite good in our compensation plan together. And I began to go to meetings. And in this journey, I actually found out that network marketing was the best thing in the world. I was totally wrong. I can relate, though, to the people that are skeptical. Mm -hmm. It's just ignorance. And this is why, Eric, I'm so grateful for you, because you are actually elevating this 
uh, business mm. and you are making a big difference and I can now use you and your books and your you know your shows and you know and all these people that you have and to to prove people that like I was that you know we're, we're well the wrong. fact that the fact that you were skeptical is probably good yeah because But, I can relate to them yeah of course talk to me about like your you've got kids and your yeah. family and you know where were you kind of In, so, your, in your personal in, life in, yeah, in, in that moment of my life when I was helping my friend I was still married we were together for 22 years 14 years uh, married and then uh, overnight uh, my life changed completely we had three boys actually one is American the other one is English and the other one is Portuguese oh boy. All, yes yes three boys all in different countries and uh, my life was always dedicated to make my husband's career the best I could by supporting him by moving to all those countries and we had a nice lifestyle this is why also I didn't consider network marketing to become my career because I wanted to be a mom mm -hmm. and then when my life turned around when I lost uh, my home I had a big big eight bedroom villa and I lost everything I had because of the divorce Then I decided to start seriously. Mm. But for that, I was looking, you know, and things with my partner weren't going so well. You know, I, I didn't like to work on the same spot because then you always have a boss when you have a partner. Yeah, sure. So I re-enrolled in the same company because I love the product and I re-enrolled and this time, I re-enrolled with Daniel because Daniel was this young, successful guy that always inspired me. And, uh, so you didn't re-enroll, you just enrolled for the first time. Yeah, you're right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I enrolled for the first time. Right. Yeah, it's okay. true, it's true. So you saw this guy. Yeah, he, he was very inspiring because what I liked about Daniel, he was actually on one of those um, trips with the company, even though I was his cross line, he was giving me all the tips and all the help I needed. And, uh, and I thought, wow, what a great guy, just helping people. And then I loved that he was always honest and I loved his skills. And, um, and the first thing that Daniel did actually, he took me to Vegas <laughs> to see you. <laughs> And this is like three before years. she restarted, I was like, okay, before yeah. you get started, here's what we got to do. We got to prep you up, right? Yeah. Like we yeah. got you, you to go pro. Yeah. get you to go I pro. And she went to go pro. And that was still while she, because even though she, she didn't have the name on her spot, she still was on a, on a, on a hold for six months. Uh, she had to everybody. wait before to re-enroll. And in that preparation phase, uh, I took her to go pro and it was the best thing ever. Ever. Because we took this energy thing <laughs> and packaged it into professional, you know, yeah. process. Yeah, because the truth is that up to that, up to that time, even though we did become successful, we were two girls, so I wasn't alone, but, but honestly, we had no, no skills. We were just doing it out of whatever we felt was right. Yeah. But sometimes if you have a personality like mine, you, it's kind of easier in the beginning, but then I would have never grown the way I did without your yeah. skills. Without some structure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Structures from you, structure from Daniel, because Daniel is the guy that tells me, go left, go right, stop now, calm down, take a break. He goes, I'm like a little tornado. I would uh, just make a big <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Well, there's value in that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, and then uh, with him, we, yeah, we grew. So, so talk about now, now you've made the decision to go pro. Let's come back to you, Daniel. Yeah. You made the decision to go pro six years ago. And uh, I remember one particular time after you did a 90-day push. I don't know how long that was ago. I think like three years ago, right? Yeah, something. Um, but, but talk about your experience over, the, over these last six years. So I heard once that there's two most important days in your business. The day you start your business and the day you start your business, right? And it's not the same day. Like mm -hmm. the day you get enrolled and the day you actually decide to get good at it. And for me, that was that day. And what inspired me to take that decision six years ago was just a simple thought. And here was the thought. The thought was that in my head before, I looked at success in network marketing and I would always think, oh, I won't be that lucky. Mm. Oh, that, like, yeah, that guy, I believe him. Like, I, I'm not saying anybody's lying here. I'm just saying, probably not going to happen to me. I probably won't be that lucky. That's exactly the wording in my head. Mm -hmm. And six years ago, I was thinking, okay, hold on. If, 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 it, if it maybe is not luck, but if it really was effort and enthusiasm and skills and dedication and all of this, would I be willing to just outwork everybody? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'd be willing. I'd be willing to, do, to take more phone calls every day, to go to more meetings, to read more books, to put in more passion, more drive, to cancel even more things, to attend everything, to put even more priority than anyone. And if I did that for a year, 
And again, I, I, I just enrolled that day and I took the decision. The first day I was thinking, okay, nobody knows me. Like I could be the most crazy guy right now. I could be somebody producing nothing or I could be this just unbelievable person. The truth is they don't know. They don't know me. It's all going to be determined based upon what I'm going to do in the next 12 months. So would it be willing to do that? And I was like, of course I would be willing to do that. And, and so, I, so, I, so I build a bridge in my mind to actually believe not only that it's possible to become the 1% or something like that, but it's actually guaranteed if I work like the 1%. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that, and that's, that's the whole magic. And, uh, and I'm not saying it was always easy, but uh, it, it, it was a whole different approach. I mean, when I got started, I, I remember the first week, I, I put down a huge list, um, and I said, okay, let me, talk, let me do a case, kind of like a case study, Week number one, let me talk to 100 people, let me get this started fast, let me invite them over, show them the product, show them the plan, get them enrolled, and see what comes out of 100 people, right? And remember very well, because I, I wrote it all down, I called 100 people, 34 people said, okay, you know what, I'm going to come over, I'm going to try the product, I'm going to check it out. Out of those 34 individual meetings, seven people enrolled. Seven. And people were like going crazy, oh my gosh, this guy just enrolled seven people. And I was saying, guys, that's not special. I talked to 100. I got 93 no's. You could do that. You just have to talk to 100 people, right? Right, right. And remember, Friday, the first week was over. I was sitting my seven people down. I was saying, okay, guys, what, what's, the, what's the plan? What are we going to do? We're going to just you know, play around or are we actually taking this thing serious? Because you all know people that started network marketing that quit. There's no honor in that. There's no fame in that. There's no, I mean... Either, like, are you guys in or are you out? And they were like, no, no, you know what, let's do this right. And I remember we started back then and we had that commitment. We said, you know what, all we got to do is we got to show the products and we got to show the plan. We got to do this every single day. And we did it for 100 days. We did 100 meetings uh, every single day. We're meeting at 8 o'clock at night, did the meeting. And throughout the day, all we did was more meetings and then try to get more people together. And, um, and that's, that's how we started. And... Um, the, the particular time that you just spoke about um, was um, about three years into the business. So what happened, so in the beginning, first, uh, first week at seven people. After three weeks, uh, we were 100 people in the group already. After 10 weeks, it was more than 600. Um, and after nine months, I hit my first financial goal, which was $10,000 a month. And I have to say, I didn't grow up like her. She came from an entrepreneurial background. Her parents had fashion stores in Milan, so she was a whole different, you know, she was used to a whole different type of money. For me, my dad's an engineer, my mom's uh, working in a kindergarten, um, and um, I was in a hotel first time when I was 16. I was, uh, we had no TV at home. I, you know, don't recall going to a restaurant, except it was a birthday or something. Um, so for me, making $10,000 a month was like unbelievable. That was as far as I could dream, you know? I didn't even know there was something behind that, you know? That's what happened after nine months. And uh, then it, and it grew from there. It went to 14, it went to 24 a year after. And then something happened. I lost one of my leaders. Hmm. I lost one of, actually I lost the biggest guy, the biggest guy I had. He worked in my office, I promoted him, uh, like I endorsed him. I'm saying, I'm, I'm like, you know, we were the two people doing this, you know? And overnight, he was like, you know what, I'm gonna just do something, else, do something else, you know? And that was kind of hard um, because what happened is that all of a sudden, it's not that he left, that wasn't a big issue, it was really more people started to get confused. Hmm. How come this big guy's leaving? You know, what's going on? And, and I've never learned that lesson, that people do private mistakes, they don't handle their finances right, and all of a sudden they get pressure and they take unwise decisions or whatever his backgrounds in, in private life, I hadn't learned that lesson yet. And that, took me into a big, you know, dumb, like a, a, into a big hole. And for 16 months, uh, the, the check went down to, I think like five to 6,000 at that point, and um, uh, from 24, you know. And, um, you know, at that point, I was like, okay, you know what, I got, just gotta work my way out. I just gotta work my way out. And I remember sponsoring people every month, every month, so sponsoring people. There was not a single month that wasn't sponsoring at least uh, three, four, five, six people, like continuously. And after like, um, I think it was 14 or even 16 months of continuous sponsoring, I wouldn't get my volume up. And I was thinking, it is, it's impossible. Like, what is going wrong? It just wouldn't go up. So I booked the course that you did. Mm -hmm. And it was not only GoPro Recruiting Mastery, but it was in particular, um, oh no, hold on. It was GoPro Recruiting Mastery, but at the GoPro Re Re Recruiting Mastery, you're talking about something called a 90-day game plan. 
And uh, you were talking about how just within 90 days, people have changed their lives and have changed their careers and became from invisible to visible and all that. And at first, when you said that, I remember sitting there, I was like, oh, come on, Eric, 90 days, that's, that's too little, right? It won't happen. But then I remember you lined up all those million dollar earners and I was far from that. But there were like a lot. Like, you remember, I don't know, like 40 maybe or 50, even more, I don't know. And you asked them, how, how many people did you enroll and from how many people is the volume coming from? And would you say there was a specific time frame and so on? And they all confirmed that there has been once, maybe twice, but for most of them, just one time in their career, a 90 day period yep. where they just gave it their all. So I was sitting there, I was listening to that, and I was thinking, you know what? I booked the Insanity Bootcamp ticket at that day, which was only kind of like four months down the road or three months down the road. And I booked it, but I was like, you know what? I have never really ever given it 100%, like a true 100%, which really now I realize probably was more like 150%, like overly, <laughs> but that's like 100, you know? So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me do this. Let me, let me give it 100% one time, one time, 100%. And I went home and I, and I canceled everything else but the business, like literally. It went to the point, it was an extreme experience. There wasn't a private text message. There wasn't um, lunch, uh, there wasn't, no, for sure. Or Did not you guys know each other at this time? No, no. no. There, was, there, was no there was no taking a, a, a breakfast without having the phone in my hand. Mm -hmm. The charger was actually in the phone while I was talking because it was drained the battery all the time. And while I was talking, I was already preparing the next person and call them up and, and all of this. And um, I, I first said I would do 16 hours a day and sleep eight hours, but then it went on to become 17, 18, 19, 20. I remember sleeping three hours a night. I remember sleeping two hours a night. I remember sleeping not at all for two days because we're thinking, wow, you cannot work all the time. And people would, would ask, how can you work at three o'clock in the morning or well, five o'clock in the morning? Who are you talking to? Well, guess what? On Facebook, there's always somebody online, <laughs> either still awake or already awake, right? And, and it was just, it went crazy. So anyways, long story short, after 55 days, I stopped my experience because I was like, I need to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was broke, I mean, like energy wise, but I made $98,000 and I, I jumped like, I had a rank and then I was paid three ranks below when I went into this. And not only I went up to that rank, but I achieved the next one and skipped it and went to the next one in 55 days. Yeah. And that was when then I came with that story yeah, I remember. to Insanity Bootcamp and I said, Eric, I have no idea what we're gonna learn. I haven't applied nothing of what you're gonna teach. Only one thing, which was give it a true 100%. Yep. That's what happened. And that was crazy. Yeah. And since then, Things have changed, you know. That's when I became, you know, visible. Let's put it that yeah. way. People started knowing somebody. my name, right? Yeah. Um, and that's how I noticed. And, you. And, and it's true. That's how <laughs> she noticed me. It went all through the company. To make my sponsor, nothing else. No, I know, but like you know, people that <laughs> <laughs> you know, people that I would follow, that I would read their books. Yeah. All of a sudden, they reached out, sending me emails. Hey, we're seeing what you're doing. You're inspiring us. I was yeah. like, what? Did that just happen, you know? know. Like things like that. It's, 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 it was interesting. And, um, you know. So finally, tell, what, let, let's, let's shift gears and talk about, I want to hear about, you know, how you, you, you decide to do this. You join this young so, guy. Yeah, so, th yeah, this young guy, I had no intention of dating him because I was really hurt from my uh, relationship before. But I thought, okay, if he's so good and tells me to go and meet Eric Worre, let's go and see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I read your book, and while I was reading GoPro, I felt you were talking about me. And, and that's what's so, so magical about the book. And uh, all of a sudden, after the 90-day run and uh, recruiting mastery, was it recruiting mastery? Yeah, yeah, that was another GoPro. Yeah, uh, I came home mm -hmm. and I went pro. And my whole attitude was different. And uh, I actually did uh, work harder than I did before because I began to believe in the profession 100%. I, be I began to believe in myself. You see, I, I felt I wasn't good enough, uh, even in, a, in network marketing, because of my prior experiences um, in life and because I never worked. But uh, after that, you know, my whole life changed, my perspective changed, and then, you know, he's very good at pushing me and telling me, come on, let's go, and he came to my first meetings to help me out, but sooner or later, I took over. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I even overtook my sponsor, can I say that? No, 
You don't want me to come. Say <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you can. Yes, she's, you're, you're now in Italy, you're number one, yes? Yes, in Europe. In all one, of Europe, one, one, in, in, Europe in your company, number one, number one in a major company. Yes. So um, you, you've been able to work and parlay this, turn this into a huge organization. Yes. Now, when did you guys turn into a couple? How did this happen? <laughs> well, Wally was helping me all the time and talking and... Proximity matters, right? Yes. You just hang out and somebody yeah. has hey, power. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know if we're going to say this, but honestly, my girlfriends were like, what is the problem? Even if he's younger, who cares? You know, the guy's successful. He loves you like crazy. You have the same interests. You travel the world together. And it just happened. And he married me quickly because he thought I was going to run away. <laughs> Better get Did this you? done. Yeah. <laughs> he actually moved to Portugal where I was living just to conquer my boys. Because for me, it was fundamental that my boys would accept him. Mm. You know, when you're a single mom, it's all about your kids. Yeah, yeah. But my boys, I, he got, you were so, you were so smart. You made my boys ask me to marry you. Mm. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. See, he's working on all that. Actually, it was my, my, my tax consultant told me, if you want to win the heart of a single woman, you go through the kids. They need to love you. If they love you, you won. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh. He really said that. And I was like, I love them. So anyways, but it really happened. It's, it's crazy uh, that uh, it, it's really true. I mean, they pushed you. you yeah. Right? In the end. <laughs> yes. That's insane. Because that she was afraid. And then, I, sure. was just, I was just afraid because he's younger. How long have how long you guys been married now? Uh, One and a half years. Yeah, yeah, one and a half. I'm it's funny, he's too. the one that knows all the dates. <laughs> I'm like two <laughs> I'm kind of like the girl in the relationship. I know the dates, I know, you know, you know the dates, all the things. You, she's you, like, you got all the structure. Yeah. She's just yeah. like, whatever, let me go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. But yeah. we actually, I think we complement each other very sure, well. Sure, of course. That's why uh, we, I think we do well because we help each other in our weaknesses. And yeah, yeah. Well, here's, here's what I'd like you to do. You, you guys know the Network Marketing Pro community. Mm -hmm. You know, these people around the world, you know, they're, just, they're watching from countries all over the world, barely understanding English, some of them, but they're really wanting to, to understand this. Maybe they're watching with subtitles underneath, or, or uh, maybe they're involved and they haven't had success yet, and they're not sure if this is for them, or maybe they're stuck or they're plateaued, or maybe they're successful, but they're not still stepping into their potential. What I'd like you to do one at a time, start with you, Danian. Just give them some advice. You're sitting there, you know, they're watching on their phone, they're watching on their laptop, they're watching from home. Um, and just one one on one, you and them, give them some advice on, on what they can do to experience a breakthrough. Okay, that's awesome. So, I, I, it's actually funny, while, while we were having the conversation, I was actually thinking about what's the real reason this happened for us? Like, what's the real reason we were able to accomplish uh, what we were able to? And, um, and it really comes down, it comes down to two different things, I believe. First of all, to really get the belief in like 100% 100, 100 locked in. Um, and it's the belief that you've all heard of before, because if you're following Network Marketing Pro, you've seen all the speakers and all the people, and everybody keeps on saying that you've got to believe in it, you know? But it really is, one of the most fundamental things, if you can't see it, you won't achieve it. I, I'm really, really a big believer in that. Um, so there, there is four different beliefs. There's to believe in the company that you're with. It needs to be rock solid. Um, the same in the product that you're representing, uh, rock solid, like clear all your doubts. Uh, you need to be like 100% on that. Um, it's the belief in the profession, network marketing. Um, if there's still something in your head that makes you wonder if it's really like a good thing to be involved in or if it's a hundred percent the best thing or like like get this straight talk to the people like follow everything I mean Eric's leading the way uh, you know introducing thought leaders to the whole process and endorsing the profession like you need to get the belief in network marketing and and most importantly you need to believe in yourself just like I said before, I always thought I won't ever be that lucky. And as long as I thought, that, as I thought so, I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> That's the fun part. And when I realized it's not about being lucky, but it's about, you know, just making it happen because it's not a gamble. You know, it's, it's just your input is eventually going to reflect your output. And uh, if you're ready to put in the input, you're going to get the output. So there is no uh, luck or guesswork. It's just true work, you know. Um, which leads me to the second point. So the first is believe. Believe in yourself, believe in the company, in the products, in network marketing. The second is you've got to believe in, uh, sorry, you've you got to be willing to put in the work. I mean, we worked. I mean, we worked. We still work. We worked, but we worked. I mean, I just, uh, 
sometimes when I look back the last three years now that we've been building together, like if you were to ask us where we did meetings, I wouldn't even remember maybe 70% of the cities that we're in. I wouldn't remember the countries we were in. I, wouldn't, I, would, I would need to spend a lot of time to put it together. It, it is s uh, countless days and hours of traveling and doing and things and multiples at the same time. And it, it, it's been tiring. We've been crying. We've been, I've been driving to a meeting uh, in the middle of the night and, and driving out and, you know, on the, on the Autobahn in Germany where you can drive real fast, you know, I, I go out and I would sleep just a little and wake up next morning still sleeping the whole night on the Autobahn just because I was tired, you know? Uh, same for her. I remember she had like blisters on her hand from carrying the luggage from one train to the, Autobahn, uh, to the flight, to the things. And if somebody tells you you won't do this without putting in the work, I don't believe it. I haven't seen anyone. Maybe there's someone being lucky, but I, I haven't seen it. Like, so believe big time in everything. Also believe in your people. That's one thing that I, that I learned from her. I became cynical in network marketing at some point. Uh, I enrolled somebody and, um, oh, this is a good one. Um, sometimes it's not just what you do, but what you think while you're doing it. And, um, and what I was thinking while I was enrolling someone was, oh, he probably won't make it. I, I signed him up and I, he probably won't make it. And I became cynical just because it was, I was not 100% making it. And, and, and when I met her and she talked to people, she was full of childlike belief. I mean, she would enroll somebody. She's like, you guys are going to become the biggest. Oh, my gosh, you're so beautiful. You're so amazing. Oh, my God, look, we can do this. you got all these contacts. I contact. believe in people. Exactly. And that's the thing. She believes in people. And I did not learn that yet. And when I learned that, to actually believe also in people, you got to believe more in, them, in themselves that they believe. Uh, you got to believe more in them than they believe in themselves. So this whole belief part and then be willing to put in the work, put in the priority and work hard and do not stop. Do not accept until you get there. If you're willing to put in the work, I promise it will happen. Yes. 100%. Thank God it's recorded. Yes. <laughs> Stefania, what's your, what's your advice? Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Talk to all these okay. hundreds of thousands of people around okay. the world. Um, for me, it was fundamental to find my why. My why were my kids. And when I started to uh, have fears and I wanted to quit, a few times I wanted to quit in the beginning, then every time I looked at my boys and I thought, no, I'm going to do it for them. I'm going to work. I'm going to change their lifestyles back to how it was before. I'm going to make them proud of me. I'm going to have more time with them later on. I knew I had to work for at least five years. And that's why I'm still working very hard to really change my life. I hate when people start a few months and then they quit, oh, it's not for me. You cannot know in a few months, you have to learn. You have to learn the skills, you have to learn on the field. I made mistakes that even if Eric told me not to do them, I had to do them myself, not to repeat them. So find your wife, why, work hard. Um, it doesn't matter uh, even how much for me was the quality of work. I think people spend too much time on social media. I love to mingle with my people. I love to talk with my people. I love the true relationship. Even if I'm abroad, I would use Skype. I connect with my people. I, you know, I would say that all my directs mostly are all successful and nobody's quitting my business because before they became successful, I believed in them, but I also created a relationship. I love them. I love, they became my friends. I rejoice with them. I cry with them. And, and on top, we build a business together, which is the best thing ever. Uh, you know, we are in Vegas now and our team is coming from Europe to go on a yacht, on a beautiful trip. And, and this is what makes it so special and this is what makes it successful. And uh, also be ethical, you know, you don't need to lie, you don't need to fake it. Just be real, people will feel it, be authentic. Um, I always talk from my heart, I love people, I, I love uh, uh, spending time, like I said already, but I love being with them. And authenticity yes. is so fundamental for people to feel and to, to grow with you and, and make a difference. Um, I love it. Well, both of you are amazing. I'm, I'm really proud of what you've done. Um, I'm proud of what you're about to do. I know you're, you're, you're just getting warmed up. You're entering this new group. You know, all of a sudden you're in the million dollar a year category. It's like, huh, okay, now where do we go from here? Is this the end? Is this the beginning? Is this the middle? And uh, what I know for both of you is just the beginning because it's about how many people's lives you're going to be impacting, yes. how many more people you can touch, how many more people you can help. 
with your products, with the opportunity, with the relationships, with everything that we do. Yes. So congratulations. Thank you so much, Well Eric. done. Proud of you Thank both. You, Eric. And thanks for your contribution to Network Marketing Pro, your contribution. I know we're going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, participating in an event together in, uh, in Italy. Rimini. In Rimini, Italy, coming up soon. So a two-day event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got value from this show. And if you did, do me a favor, like, comment, share, tag, you know, make sure other people see this, understand the passion and, and the drive and the determination, the belief that's necessary to, in order to be able to build a business. Uh, as you do that, uh, more people will be impacted and together we can make a difference. So our wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day, an outstanding week, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed our conversation with Danian and Stefania. I still can't get over the fact that when they earn a dollar because they live in Dubai and there's no taxes, a dollar is a dollar. They don't pay anything in taxes. That just still blows my mind. I'm not ready to move to Dubai, but boy, it's an interesting concept. Anyway, I hope you got value here. They've continued since the time that we've done this interview. They've continued to expand and grow around the world. They are leading by example. They are setting a new standard. And they are my dear friends, and I hope you enjoyed learning from them. If you did, and if you feel like giving us a review or rating this podcast so more people will see it, I'd be grateful. And I know that you have people that would like to and would get value from listening to this podcast as well if you'll just click on the share button and let them know that it's available. Together, we're making the world a better place, one entrepreneur at a time. So that's it for this week. I hope you go out there and have an amazing adventure. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. You've been listening to GoPro with Eric Worre. Make sure to subscribe and share. 